So Wolfgang and Andy, are, you have a beer. Is that because it was a good day for you both? <laughs> At least we had fun today. Also, we didn't manage to start together. Yeah. Andy had some difficulty to, to, to get the start height at the time we we planned to leave so I asked him do you mind if I start alone <laughs> <laughs> and he said okay <laughs> <laughs> and then he followed me about 20 minutes 20 later. minutes later yeah. but he followed me quite well I don't know the first leg was I think was quite okay yes and what were the conditions like, and how did you go? Different. Well, first, first it was blue, but the thermos were okay, yeah. two and a half to three meters. And I had the first really good thermal, maybe about 50 kilometers north of Korova. It was about four, four and a half. And, and then we connected to the clouds in the northeast which was in the beginning quite disappointing because the first two or three clouds didn't work. I was together with Mario at that stage and, and he managed to, to find a five, five and a half meter lift on the fresh cloud, obviously. So the others were not so working not so well. And that was all over the place where we had clouds, huh? that it was difficult to find the, the good clouds. Mm -hmm. But on the second leg, I fly more to the north, north, and there was also some clouds. Okay, okay, I was thinking about that, going this, yeah, it was around the corner, yeah, <laughs> outside the, the sectors. Yeah, yeah. If you if you went north of both northerly sectors, there there was some cloud, and it helped, of course, going into. 35 kilometers, yeah. but 20, 20 knot headwind. That was hard. Yeah, and I was lucky. I just, I just cleared over over the blue area. There was cloud again in the in the next sector, and out of 1,200 meters, 4,000 feet, I found six meters in the beginning. Ah. Six meters, yeah. and and then it dropped back to four, four and a half, brought me up to 3,700 meters, so it's quite nice. <laughs> so I, I went to the end of the clouds in this sector and then, and then back, and then spending most of the, of the time while gliding, calculating where do I have to put the turn points to, to arrange coming home on time, that was not easy to, to calculate the, the <clears throat> uh, the speed you could make. And how did you go? Did you get in just on time? Yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. It was two minutes longer. Yeah, me too. Two and had, how well do you think you went? I don't know. <laughs> you know, on a day like this, you you can never tell because the the conditions are so inhomogeneous if you have six meters in one place and then you have to take two and a half to stay to stay alive mm. it's difficult mm. but 140 average is about what we calculated for today would be possible and we did it so it sounds to me like you did very well congratulations and thank, thank, you. You. thank you thank you lisa